Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another episode in our Valentine's Day series. Today I'll be showing you how to make a flower crown in two different ways. One with a headband and one with a clip or a comb. Here are the supplies you'll need. Today I'm using kanabuchins or any type of decorative pearls or beads. Lots of flowers, leaves, a headband, comb. Um, or maybe barrettes and then anything else you feel the need to add to your crown. You can really make it your own in any way you would like. I also am gluing everything down with a high temp hot glue gun. The first thing you want to do is organize your space and decide on a design. It's really hard to design a flower crown when you really don't know the direction you're going in. So I chose to use red flowers only and have pops of green in there. And then I also wanted to use um, kind of red heart beads and a little bear, you know, to make it really Valentine's Day themed. I think this one's much more Valentine's Day themed than my other one. All right, so this is pretty much my final design. I made a few tweaks here and there. Uh, towards the end, I decided to take away that strand of heart pearls because it looked a little tacky and I uh, chose to add those tiny miniature pearls all over the flower petals. So now what you want to do is clear up your space and take your headband or whatever piece you're going to base this on. You can also do this on a hat, just other options for you to think about. Uh, I chose to use a headband. Before you start laying your flowers in, you want to go ahead and try your headband on and mark where you're, you want your flowers to start and end. I forgot to add that in, but a quick tip. So you wanna go ahead and start laying your flowers in. I cut the tips off and lay them on their sides. And go ahead and repeat this process until you fill the whole crown. Now that you have your base done, you can go in and add in any other decorations you would like. I'm adding in my leaves, and my technique for leaves is to scrunch them up, cut the tip off, and add glue to the base, and then just stab them in any empty spaces so they fan out like regular leaves would for flowers. Next, I'll be adding in a bear. I didn't really have enough flowers for this crown, so I decided to add a bear there to hold that space, and then hearts, pearls, uh, beads of any sort, any other kanabuchins you'd like. You can really deck it out at this point. And here's the finished product. I really like how this crown turned out and I think I've added just enough to make it not tacky. So if you like the flower crown I've created today, let me know in the comments. This will conclude today's tutorial. Tomorrow I'll be back explaining how I created these two pink flower comb and barrette pieces. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>